What's going on guys? This is Knasty3090 here. Welcome back to another episode of Oakland A's Moneyball Franchise, episode number 11. We are going into the offseason of year 4 to year 5, 2021 to 2022. This is the Moneyball Franchise, but we cannot spend more than $25 million. It's, it's just funny every time saying it. On the whole entire organization, from every player in the minors to every player in the majors, $25 million for a whole payroll. It's hard. But we've done really well. This past year, we lost in the World Series, unfortunately. We ran to the juggernaut with the Dodgers, who beat us in the first year in 2018. We lost to them in the World Series. lost in the World Series this past year, 2020. So two years ago, we lost in the ALCS to the Yankees. We beat this year. So that was nice, as you can see here. But we got swept by the Dodgers. We couldn't hit. Our pitching wasn't bad. Four runs, two runs, three runs, five runs. That's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not bad. But we need to make some changes, obviously, because people's contracts are coming up but Junas Diaz we still have their contracts the MVP Domingo Santana was the MVFing P of the American League he is a free agent we are gonna lose him uh no way around it Dustin Herrera probably won't be able to keep him around uh Mejia won't be able to keep him around Triggs maybe I don't know let's get into the off season. we got work to do I and mean, it looks like we lost our manager um no one big retired for us. No Hall of Fame inductees. Yeah, we need a new manager. We'll do it eventually. So, what does Santana want per year? Six million. Uh, it is no, that's too much. That's like, because I mean, it's probably gonna be. I mean, he'll probably want like seven, which is about mm, like a third or a fourth of our money. What I'm gonna do is give him a qualifying offer. I think he'll get more money out there and we get an extra draft pick. And if he accepts it, we'll trade him. So, uh, yeah. Ross, damn it. Stripling decided to decline his contract option, making him a free agent. How much does he want? Oh, he's not a, he's not a free agent. He must still have service time before he's a free agent. Where is he? Um, we just short, sort by overall. He, okay, arbitration. He has two more years of arbitration. He pitched, I mean, he had one amazing year with us in 2019, so I don't know. Diaz is exercised his options, and he'll be making $4 million. I'm okay with keeping Diaz at $4 million, but he wasn't amazing for us last year. We may move him. We may move him, but all right. Salary arbitration. This is going to, I want him so bad. I want to keep him, but he's going to want a lot of money. Nine mil a year. <laughs> we cannot do that. We will sign him to trade him. But he's going to have a ton of value. We can get a lot for him. Nick Senzel. I don't think we're going to be able to keep Nick. He wants seven million. <laughs> God damn it. This is hard. <laughs> you guys have said that we should do something like if we do well, we add money to our payroll, which I like the idea, but for this franchise. We are just going to be sticking with our $25 million payroll. Rebrio, we probably won't be able to keep him. Herrera, $2.6 million, I think is a little pricey for a second baseman. Stripling, $2.2? Maybe. It's going to be more like 2. Point. Let's do a player option. That way we can get to 2.4. Uh, Rossell Harari, I'm not sure there's any relation. They're only a year apart. Um, but Colombian to make Republic, unlikely they're related. Uh, he was a good super utility guy for us. But super utility guys aren't going to be making three mil roughly a year, so he will be traded. We have a ton of moves to make. <laughs> uh, Braxton Lee was actually not too bad in center. I mean, hit nine home runs, stole 11 bags, played above average defense, but three million for that, no. Again, he will. God damn it. This whole team's being traded. And then Triggs, 1.7. He wasn't. It's going to be like, yeah, 1.8. But he wasn't really Triggs. So he might be traded as well. But let's at least do that. Estrada at first base. I kind of wish it was an average a little higher. But he hit 18 home runs. Stole 17 bags. I think if we do the thing like, yeah, we can get him dirt cheap for two years. Yeah, that's. 75000 a year. Kovalenko, I just like saying his name, 21 years old, might be on the team. I'll get him to a contract. Olivieros, uh, he's improving. He's only 20. Again, he's a guy I want to... Um, he's probably going to be another guy we 
get super cheap. I love how, for some reason, this works. We can get him for, like, no money. It really helps us out. Guzman, another starter. I think he will be on the team. Look at that. Walks per nine. Now, stamina is not great. He may not be a starter. He may be our long man. But he will find a spot on this roster. Uh, John Klein. Pitched all right. I mean, as, like, a number five guy, that's serviceable. Again, his stamina is not great. Actually, his stamina is nice. It's 69. But it's not great. But we can get him super cheap. So, we'll do that. I feel like for most players, we can keep them for three years cheap, and then they become expensive. So, I think the rest of these, I will just sign them all. And, ooh, I like this Nunez, this guy's defense, so he'll probably be on the team as a backup catcher. But uh, I'm going to sign all these guys to contracts, and then we'll move on with the uh, offseason. A lot of moves, a lot of trades. All right, so I went through, offered all those contracts. Now, we do have players who are coming up on being eligible for the Rule 5 draft, so let's just add some players to our 40-man roster um, before we move on any further with the offseason. I um, just want to make sure we keep all the people. I think this Mejia kid might be ready for the uh, for the bullpen. I don't know. We're going to have to make some changes, like, because Brebbia is going to – he's getting a big raise – all these youngsters, I'm giving them, like, luckily, they're all going to accept those, like, two-year deals worth, like, $40,000 a year, which is kind of glitchy, but I love it. Um, so that's good. I don't know. Will we... I might just use Nunez and Norris as our catchers. They're not... Neither of them are amazing, but they're both solid, and I think they'll be a good tandem. I mean, Nunez can't hit, but he can field. Well, Norris can hit. And a, an average fielder, not great durability, is a deep potential who will get worse. So, um, yeah, Pavin Smith is eligible for the Rule 5 draft, so let's add him. I don't know anyone else who of... I guess we'll keep Mikey White. 
he's not eligible. I'm not sure what we're going to do with uh, Alvarez. I think he's close to being ready. But I don't know where we play him. Because he can't play center. Peltier can play center. So we could put him in left. We might just do that. And then uh, Duggan in right. Sure none of these kids are eligible for the Rule 5 draft. All right, that's fine. So, let's get these players to sign these contracts. Claudio's a Tiger. Salazar's a Giant. I don't even bother looking at free agents because like, we can't sign any. Rivero's a Tiger as well. Damn, Tigers make a move. Syndergaard's going to the Brewers. Buxton's a Tiger. Damn, the Tigers are spending money, which actually is not bad. It's not in our division. Dylan Bundy's a Rocky. Buster Posey's a Blue Jay. No one in the AL West yet. Freeman's an Indian. All right, Santana accepted the qualifier. We're going to trade him, so that's just another piece to trade. So, we're still waiting on Brevia, Herrera, and Triggs to accept their offers. And these guys here to accept that. Now, what's our budget? It's probably like $50 million. 63 but we're going to trade Santana, Mejia, Senzel. So, um, what do I want? A second base. You know what? Let's do a little... Let's do this. Any position... Let's do a maximum salary of $3 million with a minimum overall of what? Mm, let's do 80 and see what's out there and see if there's some just insanely friendly. Oh, we have to do a min salary too. And just see if there's, you know how we kind of found that Korea contract? Let's see if there's other really friendly contracts. Ooh. Howie Wilson making... It's year 2 of 5. That's why I looked at him. I, that's why I went right to him. Year 2 of 5 on his contract. Making 1.4 million. 84 overall. Let's go get uh, Howie for the bullpen. And... Um, I was going to say, what? We don't have Strasburg. So, I think if we... I mean, our bullpen has a lot of young players. But I think he can be our new Brebia. Or maybe even our new closer. So, um, what I would trade Pavin Smith. That basically gets the deal done. Just another body. There we go. We do take a little bit of money, but that's fine. We're going to get rid of money soon. Uh, all right, let's go back and just do that again. So, and let's do min overall again of, let's do 80. Any other very friendly... Con I'm, I want to see, like, like here we go. Year 3 of 5, Freddy Peralta. Hasn't really pitched great. Eric Feedy, year 3 of 5 for him. Pitched all right last year, but very limited innings. We already have Montgomery, who's a free agent after next year. God damn it. Peltier. Oh, man, all these guys are going to be free agents. Romero, year 3 of 4. Now, he hasn't been that good. ERA's pretty high. Um... Estevez, we don't need another reliever. It's actually probably one of our stronger. Sal Romano. Remember him from our Reds franchise. Tyler Goodell. But he's a good fielder, but no. Um, Alright. I guess... Let's just... Um, let's work on some trades. So, I want to see if we can maybe get some nice starters. And get some... And get some uh, prospects too. But I think we're going to have to wait in the off season for the teams to sign their players. So let's take care of our coach. We need a new manager. And let's get an A. Here we go. Perfect. And then we'll just go pretty far into the off season. Yelich is a pirate. Rodon's a ranger. And that's someone in our division. Gregor Prolanco's a brave. Chapman's a Phil. Iglesias is a brewer. We already did our 40 man. We already did arbitration. Ah, the guy accepted the Rangers job as a farm director. All right, let's go back and find a new manager. A attribute grades, any? There we go. Minus one stealing. Oh, I'll live with it. Corey Seager is a national. JD Martinez is a national for Tommy Fan and Brian Goodwin. Trevor Story is a Mariner. That's in our division. So we're going to have the 24th pick in next year's draft. We'll see what's out here. Maybe we can find a starter. Ooh, there are some starters here. Any with good walks per nine? The thing is, we got to find a guy that I like, and then we have to make sure he has a very friendly contract. Because, like, these guys, like, that $60,000 contract's a great contract. But no, good walks. Here we go. $80,000. Daniel Camarena. Camarena. 
29 years old. He has uh, no service time, but he should be a good pitcher. He may not start. He may be well. He has to be on the big league club, but um, I think that can definitely help us out. Definitely help us out. Maybe be a number five. Maybe be. I mean, we had a guy that might be a long man. Maybe he'll be the long man. I don't know. Um, let's keep simming the off season. There we go. We got our our uh, manager. We are now in February, so now we gotta cut basically fifty million dollars. We need a DH because Santana was the DH, or we could put like a guy like um. We still have, uh, we're gonna move. Uh, so Alvarez is gonna be our left fielder. Let's just move Peltier to center. Let's do that now. He's an 84 at left. What is he going to be at center? Let's take a look. 84. Okay. Overall stays the same. So Santana, we need a DH. I think first base can probably find the best value for that. Hopefully we can find a guy who is on a team-friendly contract or cheap. Who just hasn't hit like service time yet. Bobby Bradley, not bad, not bad. We've had him in other franchises. That is definitely an option, though. They can't do it for Santana, but we can get something for him. We can do a trade. But that's not a bad option at all. Actually, he's probably the leader in the clubhouse right now. Tyler White, 600000 Now, we may have to just do a salary dump for Santana. Vogelbach. Brandon Bell, two million. Nick Prado, that's a name from the a past franchise. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with. Where is he? Bobby Bradley. I like the hitter, and he's just gonna be our DH. Well, he. Well, who's better at D? Uh, no, he'll be our first baseman because he's a better defensive player than Estrada. And we can't use Santana. We have to put someone up. Braxton Lee, perfect. Braxton Lee does it, and that's only three and a half million. Boom, our DH. I think with Santana, I'm just going to get a prospect for him. I hope a team will take his salary. Okay, we, they will. So we're not going to be stuck with it. Okay, the White Sox will give up a good amount. Desmond Lindsay, though, 72 overall, B potential. Royals aren't offering a whole lot. That's not a whole lot. Okay, there. we're going to take this one. We're going to get Piedra, uh, a pitcher, uh, some other positions there. So that saves some money. Um... Herrera as a super utility, we can't spend three million, three million on that. So let's find like a super utility guy who can play a bunch of different positions. Ooh, I kind of like this guy. He's a pretty good hitter. Can play short and second. They want a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. Boom, there we go. We got a backup shortstop, Logan Warmoth, only making 36000 Um, We have Lozano too, who can play like every position. I wish he just had some durability. We do need a, like a true second baseman, so let's go find that now. Um, like I said, I, uh, ooh, hmm, it's a little pricey. I would love to get a guy under a mil. I mean, we could use Lozano if I need to. I just know his durability is going to prevent him from playing a ton of games. But let's see what's out there. Oh, Valentin, good fielder, can kind of hit. Now, last year in 150 game, 45 games, he hit 239, eight home runs. At 348 on base, he got on base quite a bit. He walked about 10% of the time. A war of three. Now, they can't take Herrera's contract. We have to take money back, but we can do that. Um, Let's take Coda Glover. Oh, I know I can trade him. And then... Lindsey. Actually, kind of like the player there. Um... They want catchers. We have a ton of them. Maybe if I take it. Let's do this. There we go. Um, Actually, I feel like training Mejia for that. I want to get some big time prospects for him. So, if I... Mm, this is kind of annoying. This is the problem with like waiting this far in the offseason. Like, teams have, their, have met their budgets. So we have to be kind of smart with what trades we do. I'll trade Brebbia, but obviously can't do it in this trade. Um, Pena, I'll give up on him. I mean, we do get 
Sammy Salas, who I'll just do a salary dump. All right, let's get rid of some contracts now. So Sammy Salas, just what prospects. I just want one that's making like $50,000. 60000 perfect. That's fine. Um, Brevi is making three point six. I know he had a good year. We can get like a legit prospect for him. A high B, like ooh, three Bs. And oh my goodness, Robin Tyne. Holy cow! He's our catcher right now. He must have just been drafted, and they don't, and they just are low value on him. But we they give up a legit big time reliever. Uh, what's his potential? 90. Okay, it's not super high, but that kid can play. Yeah, I think he's going to start the year on the bigs. And um, Nunez can be our backup. Norris? I don't know. Maybe we'll have Nunez in the minors, actually. I think that's probably going to be it. I'll have Nunez in the minors. Continue to develop. But Robin Tyne, or Robin Teen, excuse me. So, now let's trade Mejia. We have to trade him. And I'm just going to probably do... Look at his... Oh, my God. His value is so high. Oh, my goodness. We can get studs. Royce Lewis. We don't need a shortstop. Grayson Rodriguez. We didn't know that name. Charlie Hay and Kalenic. What's this starter looking like? Oh, we got 84 walks per nine. Oh, my goodness. And, I mean, we got Wander Franco, too. Uh, I'm not sure if he goes by his full name. Who I, He's just going to be a future trade ship. But we get a big-time starter. What is our starting looking like right now? I'm probably going to move on from Stripling. No, let's move on from Triggs. I hate it. But 1.8, and he did struggle last year. There we go. We got a reliever prospect. We still need to cut some salary. Nick Senzel. We need a third baseman. I forgot about that. Brandon Drury wouldn't be a bad pickup. 2.6. A little pricey. Munoz is a great defensive player. I mean, I'd take him. We can get something else back, too. We can get a starter, another starter. Can I get another stud reliever? They don't really have any stud relieving prospects. Can I get another starter prospect? Let me get a, I, I want another piece. I guess we can take Gorman, uh, okay, we can get this to work. There we go. So now what is our budget looking like? Hopefully we're at under 30. Oh, we're at 23. Perfect. We can still keep certain players. Actually, we can maybe make some changes. Take a look at the team. Junis, Montgomery, Stripling, Camarina, and then Guzman, I won on the big league club. Kovalenko and AAA. We also have Klein, who might, I'm not sure he'll be in the long, our long man. We also have Richter, who I like. And where is this stud? Mud isn't the stud. McLennan, I want him in AAA. Bullpen, Howie Wilson, and then all these youngsters. Catchers, we got two. First base, we have three on the... But we might send one down. Third base. So, our first base in DH. Second base in Valentin. Third base in Munoz. Now, we're more of a defensive team for sure, but Correa's going to have to... Okay, we want Franco in the minors. I want Warmoth in the bigs. Alvarez on the big league club. He's going to be in the left. Center, we have Pelletier, Valdez. All right, we have too many people on the big league club. I guess we can maybe try to, I don't know. Mm, we actually have money to spend. Maybe I'll wait and keep the, well, yeah, we're at like $2 million extra. Let's wait and see what we can get. Look at that contract by Howie Wilson. Actually, let's do a little player search now that the um, offseason is almost over. See if we can find any amazing contracts out there. Years left. Let's do three years left on that contract. Tyler Goodell, um, Roman Quinn. Not a bad player. Year one of six, making three million. Corey Ray. Nah. Jay Groom. Pretty, pretty team friendly. Johander Mendez, Akil Morris, nothing too crazy. Yeah, nah. 
Um, let's do years left at two. Mm, nah. All right, we need to get rid of two players off the big league club. Do we have just some like random starters or? I mean, we're a little bullpen heavy. There's one, two, three. There's yeah. Let's send down. Well, Samuels is left-handed. Wing Genter did really well last year, so I want to keep him. Baggett struggled, so let's put Baggett in AAA. All right, we still have one too many, and we'll probably just send Vertigan down. Send him to Double A, just because AAA has too many people. All right, so we should be good. We don't have anything to do for renewed contracts. Let's go to spring training. Let's go to the regular season, and let's build our lineup. So Peltier leading off, I'm okay with that. Alvarez batting second, mm, maybe. It's a. I actually think we're going to be a good defensive team for once. Estrada's our DH. Yeah, we'll put. Uh, no, let's put. Yeah, let's put him batting second, because he does have good vision and discipline. So he should get on base. Correa, Bradley, as the offense. I'm a little worried we may not hit. We're going to field, but we're not going to be an amazing hitting team. But we should field our position. And there's that. And let's take care of this. And we still got a studs in the minors. Montgomery, Junis, Stripling, Camarino, and Kavalinko. All right, we're going to change that. I don't want Kavalinko on the big league club. Yeah, well, I want... How did he do last year? 4, 2, 6. Oh, I want Wittinger. Wingenter, excuse me. But we still have Olivros. We got a lot of young pitchers still. So... If any of these guys struggle, we'll call them up. I want... I want Guzman in the rotation. And... Yeah, let's go Guzman instead of Klein. Camarino was the guy we got in the Rule 5, which I like him. So, mm, I'll put Junis as the ace. He's been with the team for three years. Montgomery's only been for two Top prospects, we should be loaded, I feel like. Robin team, we got in the trade is at 8. McLennan, who we got in another trade is at 10. We should have more. Franco, we got in the trade is at 15. Yeah, like that's a thing. Alvarez, who's now in the bigs, is at 21. Andrew Mudd is at 28. Kovalenko's at 34. Guzman's at 35. Uh, Nunez, our, that other catcher who I'm keeping in the mind, so great defensive catcher, is at 37. 48, we got it. That is a throw in and a trade. Gorman, Sean McGill's been on our system forever. He's at 49. Like, we have so many freaking prospects. We're ranked 28, 30th in power, 29th, 22nd in defense? First in speed, fifth in contact. D why is our defense so bad? Peltier's good. Alvarez is not great, but he's in left. Correa's good. Bradley's fine at first. Duggan's poor, but he has a good arm. Valentin's good. Munoz is great. Robotine's good. Or Robinette, excuse me. God, I can't say his name right. Our bench, we have uh, shortstop, catcher, second, center. That's fine. And all, uh, Alonzo can play all those positions. And we have a backup first baseman, obviously, playing D8. So that is all set. I don't know. I think our team's pretty darn good. Um, let's make sure. I think we actually have to hire a new scout. Um, we have West, Central, International, East. Our East one is bad. But has been fixed. I think that's it for the video, boys. Next season coming up, I don't know. I'm a little worried that our offense... Correa's going to have to have a big year, and I'm hoping from big years from, like, Peltier maybe has a big year. Bradley Estrada has have big years, and you just hope, like, Valentin Munoz and Robin or Robinette, excuse me, just are pretty solid. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. We'll see. If not, I mean, we can make moves. We have $2 million to work with. We'll figure it out. Or because... Wait, who's this guy... I just saw a name. Oh, 94,000. I was going to say, I don't know who this guy is. Why is he making so much? But never mind. I'm going off. I'll see you guys in another video. Take it easy. Peace.